Hello everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to a brand new video on this channel. Before we get into the video, let's quickly recap the learnings from the last video. In the last video, we wrote our first line of code in R. We studied the arithmetic operators used in R and applied them using simple mathematical operations. We also looked at the syntax to combine multiple arithmetic operations and practiced it with simple examples. In this video, we will look at the top 10 R Studio features and also cover some useful shortcuts that will make you a very effective R Studio user. As a side note, I'll be using a number of jargons such as shiny apps, packages, variables, etc., which might not make much sense if you are just starting out with R. It's completely fine if you do not understand as we will be studying each one of those concepts in depth in future videos. With that said, let's get into the video. The first feature that we will discuss is the R console. So R console is an interactive environment that gives you instant output and feedback. Say I want to compute 2 plus 4 minus 10. Then as you can see, when I press enter and pass the command, I get instant output of minus 4. Similarly, say I want to preview the first few rows of the built-in Motor Trend magazine's empty cars dataset. Then I can type a simple command head followed by empty cars and see the preview. R console also helps with quick and dirty testing before we document the code. Say I want to find out all six cylinder cars from the empty cars dataset, then I can use the filter function and as you can see, I get instant result. If the console gets cluttered, then you can clear it using the keyboard shortcut control plus L or click on the broom sign at the top right of the console. If you need more screen space, you can use the maximize and minimize buttons. The second feature that we will discuss is the scripting section. This is the section in which we write our scripts, documents and notes. New scripts can be composed using control plus shift plus n or by clicking on the plus sign at the top left. Existing scripts can be saved using control plus s or by using the save option under the file drop down. Previously saved R scripts can be opened using control plus o and selecting the script from the folder as shown or by using the open option under the file drop down we can switch between scripts using the right and left arrow keys this section also has the maximize and minimize buttons for added screen space to run an entire script we can use the shortcut control plus shift plus enter or click on the source button at the top right to run a specific section of the script select the section and press control plus enter or click on the run button at the top right to run a single line simply click anywhere in the line and use control plus enter or click on the run button at the top right the third feature on our list is the environment environment shows all the variables and user defined functions from across all open r scripts in case of data we can look at the list of fields their data types and first few values by clicking on the blue play button we can manually load data sets using the import data set button i'll illustrate this by importing data from an excel file as you can see the data set got loaded and saved to a variable by the same name and r also opened the data set for us to visually examine the values we can discard everything from the environment by typing the command rm list is equal to ls in the console or by clicking on the broom sign at the top center the fourth feature that we will discuss is the history section this section contains the logs of all the code that we have run and it refreshes as soon as we pass a command at times we might do a lot of testing in the console and it's possible to lose track of the work especially if you're clearing the console to prevent cluttering This is where the history section will play its part. One cool feature is that we can move the code back to the console by clicking on the line and pressing enter or move to the script by clicking on the line and pressing shift plus enter. There are also buttons titled to console and to source for the same task. We also have an option to search for specific items from the history using the search bar provided at the top right. We can discard the history by clicking on the broom sign or save it using the save button. The next feature that we will discuss is the session drop down. At times, it might happen that you have run a very long script but want to cancel the execution for some reason. 
In that case, we can use the interrupt IR option under the session dropdown to block the execution. In case you want to start fresh, then use the terminate IR option. This clears all the variables, offloads all data sets and starts from scratch. In case you want to start afresh but want R to keep all the variables and datasets intact, then use the restart R option which takes a backup of all the work before restarting the session. The next feature we will discuss is the files section. This is where you can see all the files from your working directory. We can move to a different location by using the three dots sign towards the top right. The file section has options to create a new folder. to delete a file or a folder, to rename a file or a folder, and to move files from one location to another. We can also load the files and scripts into R by clicking on them as shown. The seventh feature that we will discuss is the packages section. This section shows us the list of packages that are installed on the local machine. We can load any package for active use by checking the box on the left of the package name. We have a convenient button to install new packages, update existing packages, and delete already installed packages. We can also view the GitHub page of an package by clicking on the globe sign towards the right of the package name. The next feature that we will discuss is the help section. This section helps us explore more about the installed packages and R overall. Click on any package name in the packages section and R will take you to the help section where you can explore the application and syntax of the functions along with examples. The ninth feature on our list is the plot section. As the name goes, the plot section displays the charts and graphs that you build. As you can see, when I use the plot function to build a graph, I had displays the graph in this section. We also have an option to export these plots as PDF and as images for further use. We can also maximize the plot by using the zoom button. The last feature that I want to cover is what I call the 123 shortcut. While working on long assignments, we often need to jump between the script, the console and the help section. And this is where the 123 shortcut comes into play. We can press Ctrl plus 1 to activate the script, Ctrl plus 2 for console, and Ctrl plus 3 for help. The 123 shortcut eliminates the need to reach for the mouse and makes the navigation process a whole lot less cumbersome. That's it for this video. Hope you found the video useful. Comment down the feature that you find the most useful. If you know a useful RStudio feature that was not covered in this video, then share that with all of us. And make sure you let me know your overall thoughts on the video in the comments below. Good luck and happy learning.